the first thing I would ask them um, is, well, two things. How old are they? And where are they at in their training? And there's no right or wrong answer to that question. It just, what I would say would depend on that. And then the second is, what do you want to do in five years, 10 years, and 20 years? And I actually start that conversation with all of my students, especially the ones who are looking at college, because that might vary depending on what they say. If they say, well, I want to start performing, but then I want to teach, or I want to start performing, but then I want to choreograph, then I, my advice for them might be slightly different. But I think the most important thing is, is, is to train and to train the things that you, even the things you don't think that you would do. So a lot of times we have dancers who are like, well, I'm a dancer. Great. But that actually means that you need to spend more time on the other things. Vice versa with the singer. Well, I'm not a dancer. And of course, I'm not suggesting that you have to be a dancer to be a successful musical theater performer. But we don't want to neglect the other areas because musical theater is unique and that it kind of is this um, combination of so many things. They used to call it triple threat, but really now it's like four and five things. It's also playing the instruments and, you know, producing your own work and doing multiple things in the show more, much more than you would have 50 years ago. Um, but I just, we, we really believe in the training and sort of almost the idea of like practicing so much that when the moment comes up that you don't actually have to think about anything because you've prepared yourself for that moment, but that you're also available for that moment, whether it's an audition, whether it's the show, whatever it is. Um, that would be my first and biggest piece of advice.